Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Lanzalotta and I manage the Student Entrepreneurship Program here at Tangent, Trinity's Ideas Workspace. Uh, today we're going to be having a discussion about entrepreneurship, specifically student entrepreneurship at Trinity. Uh, Trinity was just ranked number one in Europe for the sixth year in a row for producing new entrepreneurs, so we thought it would be really good to have a discussion about that. And for that we have the three pillars of student entrepreneurship at Trinity, I would say. We have myself from Tangent, as well as two people from Enactus and two people from TESS, so rather than give Giving them an intro, I'm going to go down the line and we'll introduce ourselves. Eve, do you want to start us off? Yep. Um, hi, my name is Eve McGuire. I am a final year law student and I'm co-chair of Enactus. Hi, my name is Matthew Jordan. I'm in third year studying EMSIS in Trinity College Dublin, obviously, and I am also co-chair of Enactus. Hi, my name is Laura. I'm a final year computer science and business student and I'm the incubator communications manager for Trinity Entrepreneurial Society. Hi, I'm Callum McDonald. I'm a final year business student here in Trinity, and I'm this year's president of Trinity Entrepreneurial Society. Amazing. So we have a diverse panel here, a lot of different backgrounds and different societies and entities at Trinity. Um, Tangent is Trinity's Ideas Workspace, so where we operate and where I operate specifically is helping students develop ideas from a scribble on a napkin all the way up to founding a startup and launching it. Um, so I'm really interested with you guys, if you could just intro, first we'll start with Enactus. What is Enactus? Um, Enactus is a global organization which uses business acumen to tackle social issues. So we create and we run and we develop uh, social entrepreneurial projects which aim to tackle um, issues in the wider community from um, incentivizing people to cycle to um, mental health to um, creating more sustainable consumers. So a big range of things there. Amazing. And it's in the space of social entrepreneurship and social enterprise, which is so relevant these days. I might jump over there. Callum, can you give us an intro to TESS, Trinity's Entrepreneurial Society? Absolutely. So Trinity Entrepreneurial Society, or TESS as it's known around here, is the largest business and entrepreneurial careers uh, career-focused society in Trinity. Last year we had over 1,300 members, and we um, do a lot of cool events, such as speaker series, TESS Dragon's Den, um, student Startup Weekend and the TESS Incubator. Amazing. So there's a lot going on and in Tangent we have loads of programs going on. But the first thing I want to go into um, is to come back and look at the concept of social entrepreneurship. Um, it's something that's thrown around and talked about a lot, but I don't think everybody quite knows what it is. Um, can you guys tell me what is social entrepreneurship? Yeah, so social entrepreneurship, um, as I, I would describe it, is kind of a mix between business and charity. So um, using your entrepreneurial skills, your business skills, to make a profit while also um, helping out some social issue. So we at Enactus have projects that kind of run as businesses, creating profits, um, all normal business things, while also tackling a social issue, whether it be homelessness, poverty, climate change, etc. So it's kind of halfway um, down the middle of business and charity. I know tests are more focused on the entrepreneurial side, but Enactus, um, we like to look at the social side. So a business that uh, operates normally, but also helps someone somehow. OK, amazing. And I, I know that a big part with Enactus is those uh, the sustainable development goals, the 17 with the UN. Um, the sustainable development goals are something that I think everybody talks about, but nobody's quite, like, I definitely at first did not quite understand what they were. Um, can you tell me a bit more about the, social, the sustainable development goals and how that connects in with Enactus? Yeah, absolutely. Um, even before I joined Enactus, I didn't even, I haven't even heard of the sustainable development goals. But essentially, kind of all the world leaders got together um, at the UN and they developed these 17 uh, sustainable development goals. It's kind of the 17 most pressing social issues our world is facing uh, at present. So I know off the top of my head, number one is no poverty. Um, and then, number, for example, number 13 is climate change. Um, so it's just these list of 17 social issues that uh, the global, global leaders aim to tackle um, by a certain date. Um, and Enactus kind of revolves around this, so each project in Enactus is aimed at tackling at least, um, if not a few, uh, of these social issues. Um, so it's a big part of Enactus anyway, and uh, certainly a big part of our lives in the entrepreneurial side of Trinity. 
Absolutely, and it's going to connect to everything we do every day. I imagine any idea can connect to at least one of the goals. Um, when it comes to taking your idea and getting it off the ground, uh, often it's really important to have a catalyst for that. And one of those catalysts for it, I know in tests, we have the, tr the test incubator. Um, so uh, can you share with me a bit about the incubator and what it is and how it supports students? Um, yeah, sure. So the incubator program, it's a year-long program for student startups uh, at any stage. So whether you're really early stage, just have an idea, or you already have a customer traction and a prototype, we want to hear from you. Um, so you pitch for your place to get in, and then we do weekly events. So we provide workshops, uh, mentorship, funding, and guidance for our teams to try and uh, equip them with the tools to, to grow their business when the program concludes. Okay, amazing. So it's early stage, getting something off the ground. I know that in Tangent, and this is where there's such a diverse range of supports here at Trinity, from if you're a social enterprise, if you're just getting off the ground. Um, in, in Tangent, I run a program called the Launchpad Sprints program. Um, Tangent has within it, the uh, we're a Blackstone Launchpad uh, powered by Techstars site, um, in the sense that we're connected to a number of uh, universities in the states that have these Launchpad sites. Running a sprint is an early stage idea development space, four sessions across two weeks, followed by a pitch at the end. And these pitching events are really important to just learning about and sharing your businesses. When it comes to pitching events, though, the name that everybody t tends to know is Dragon's Den. Um, and I know I see Callum smiling over there. Uh, the test Dragon's Den. Can you tell me a bit more about that? And is it like the real thing? Yes, absolutely. So um, Dragon's Den is something that we all know, you know, the famous TV show. Um, here in test, we've decided to kind of recapture that, re kind of reimagine it. Um, it it's follows a similar structure, except we have a live audience. So last year we had over 500 students in, um, in the audience in the large theater downstairs. Um, we picked the six top student startups. Uh, they could have been ranging from startups to ideas to companies that were ready to scale. Um, and they pitched in front of established investors and entrepreneurs for a cash prize of 10,000 euro. So very much like the the real show. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. You can you can win quite a lot there, and the best with with this uh, with the money that is given. I I no uh, entity at Trinity ever like we don't take equity in any of these startups. I know for in Tangent we have the Launchbox uh, Student Accelerator over the summer. We don't take equity in the startup. It gives ten thousand euros to students to develop their ideas. If you're looking to get something off the ground, it's a great place to start. Um, but not everybody's there at the start of the year necessarily. Sometimes getting started takes a bit more. Um, I know a lot of the uh, Enactus programs are built around kind of getting yourself started and uh, getting people involved who might not already consider themselves an entrepreneur. Can you tell me a bit about the programs that go on in Enactus throughout the year? Yeah, so we have quite a wide range um, of programs and events that we run. So internally within Enactus, we have brainstorming events, project development events, you know, kind of what you were saying, getting ideas up and running and kind of fully functioning social enterprises. And then at the Enactus Ireland level, they work with Citigroup and they run a pitching competition every year in which you can pitch your social enterprise to a panel of experts. You can win funding and mentorship. Um, and then the big kind of event at the end of the year is national competition. So we develop our project, um, we create impacts in the community around us, and we pitch our projects within Trinity um, against all the other universities in Ireland with the hopes of being crowned and uh, national champions. Okay, and I know that there is a claim to fame there. Uh, Enactus TCD has done very well in the past. Uh, can you tell me, uh, it was 2019, right? Went yes. to the World Cup? Yes. So in 2019, we were crowned national champions. Um, so we competed against all the other universities in Ireland and we won. So um, with that, we went to America, went to Silicon Valley and we pitched against all the other Enactus teams across the world and the winners, the national champions from every single Enactus team um, across all the different countries. And we made it to semifinals, uh, which was really great and really cool experience. Um, so yeah, it's one Absolutely. of our... No, the opportunity to compete on a national level for, just, for pitching social enterprises is really exciting. Um, I know that, that, again, we're at the, the later stages of you've developed an idea, you can go down the pathway, but there are so many ways that you can kind of just get started, um, either in Trinity or in the wider ecosystem. One of the things that I know does connect us to the wider ecosystem is uh, startup weekends. And so startup weekends are, uh, well, 
Callum, I'm sure you can say it better than me. Can you tell us a bit about the Startup Weekends? Yep, absolutely. So Tess um, organized our second student Startup Weekend ever this year, back in January. Um, we had over 100 students um, in Google HQ, which makes it the largest student Startup Weekend um, organized. Um, this was done in collaboration with Techstars, who are a global name, global brand. Um, at the weekend, um, all 100 students, they came from universities across Ireland and a couple came over from the UK too. Um, they didn't know each other before the start of the weekend. They came together, they pitched ideas, um, formed teams, and then at the end they came up with 15 unique business ideas and pitched at the end, again, in front of some established investors and entrepreneurs. And um, yeah, some of them today are still running. So it's, it's, a, it's a great place to start. And it was good to see that I think about 70 to 80% of the students in attendance that weekend, it was the first ever entrepreneurial event. That's exciting. I know that these sorts of like the weekend events, the hackathon sort of style of getting ideas uh, in that raw, for, raw form is really exciting. I know in, in Tangent, we run the Provost Innovation Challenge. So this is unique in that it is voted on what the topic is going to be ahead of time. So the students are able to decide what it is that they want to take on. This year, it's going to be sustainable cities. So it's exciting that they can take that on, whether it's an idea that comes about on the weekend or an idea that you've been working on, you can bring it to that. And there's a 3,000 euro prize at the end of that line. So it's exciting to get involved in those idea development spaces. Once you've gotten involved, though, and once you're starting down that path, there are a lot of things you might get involved in. And someone who has been involved in a lot of these things is yourself, Laura. I know yourself with Ethicart, you have your own startup. Can you talk to me a little bit about the journey of Ethicart and the various things that you've specifically been involved in? And maybe first, just tell us what Ethicart is. Yes, yeah, so of course, yeah. So for those of you that don't know, Ethicart is a social enterprise that I work on um, with my co-founder. It's an app to help people shop for food more sustainably. So you just scan a product's barcode and you can see its sustainability profile. And then we suggest more sustainable alternatives where possible. Um, so we started out um, in the Sprints program with Joe. Um, and that was great because we really only had a problem and kind of a vague concept. And that helped us to really hone in on that and get a lot of experience uh, pitching and get, got good feedback from that. And then I think after that, then we went for the Launchbox program. And I don't think we would have gotten into that if it wasn't for the experience we got with the Sprints program. Um, so we were fortunate enough to get into Launchbox, spent our summer doing that, um, which was fantastic. You, you get 10,000 euro funding, workspace, um, loads of workshops and mentorship. So that was just a fantastic kind of crash course on entrepreneurship. Um, and then after that, I got involved with Tess, uh, Trinity Entrepreneurial Society, kind of met people through doing Launchbox and was like, this is such a cool society. I don't know why I haven't been involved in this. Um, and then after that, <laughs> I then went on and joined an Actus um, because Ethicard is a social enterprise and they've just been really helpful with the advisory board that they provide um, and also the kind of events like the city, city event that we just got through to that even Matthew will probably tell you more about than I could. Um, but yeah, so that's, we've gone through the whole, the whole thing. So it's been great. <laughs> Absolutely, that's amazing. Matthew, do you want to tell us a little bit about the City Pathways to Progress? Yeah, so it happened there a lot. Actually, yesterday, I think it was, was the pitching day. Um, so it's essentially just a, a chance to win money. It's kind of the first pitching opportunity we have in the calendar year. Um, so you pitch to City, who are a large uh, investment bank, one of the big ones, one of the big names on Wall Street. And essentially, um, you pitch your idea. I think when I did it, I did it two years ago, and Eve actually did it three years ago, and then Laura did it this year. So we're, we've all, we've all pretty team. much, I think Callum's left out. But, um, uh, when I did it anyway, we had, there was 10 uh, entrants, and out, out of 10 of them, eight actually managed to secure funding. And once you've secured funding, you are placed on a kind of a program, and you get a mentor from City, so a City employee, and they kind of help you with your business throughout the year. So you're in constant contact with them every two weeks. Um, they kind of just keep on top of you and make sure you're doing things and um, give you advice in the area that you need it. And if they don't have the expertise, they're happy to put you um, in, in contact with someone who does. Um, really good uh, whole round program. And then at the end of the year, you get a chance to pitch again for up to 4,000 euro in funding. You get 4,000 euro for first place, 2,000 euro for second place, and another 1,000 euro for uh, third place. And when I did it, we came second with our project, Conscious Camping. Um, and hopefully, Laura will go on to 
win it this year. <laughs> Here's hoping. Stay tuned. Watch, watch everybody at home. See how we do. Um, and actually, in, in terms of programs and things that have gone on, uh, Laura, I wanted to come back to you because another one is uh, when this concept of finding mentorship is mm -hmm. something that's really important. Yeah. And I know that finding a mentor can be a daunting task if you're looking for it in general. But even especially in the space of entrepreneurship, finding someone who's going to be able to talk to you about developing idea, who's been there before. Yeah. I know that you participated in Tangents Women Who Wow program. Can you yeah. tell me a bit about that and your experience? Yeah, so I did that two years ago. I think it was my first kind of pathway into Tangent. And from there, I just got recommended on to so many other things. So a side note, once your foot is in the door, people are so friendly and willing to, to kind of sh pass you on to someone else who could help you. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a great program. They pair you up with a, a female in the, a field that you're interested in. So for me, it was kind of a business technology mix. So I got paired um, with a woman from Consensus who was so fantastic. They, they meet with you month, once a month and they help you with kind of any area that you want to go in. So I was kind of interested in getting help with starting off Ethicard and that kind of space. But also if you were applying to jobs or internships, grad roles, they can help you. They just have a wealth of advice that they'll, they'll offer you and also to grow your network. So that's good. Absolutely. And it can be so powerful to have that learning from somebody who's kind of been there before and yeah. can help take you down the path. Um, I know one, one of the things in Tangent that we have that's f open for all students and this concept of reaching out across disciplines, we have the undergraduate certificate in innovation entrepreneurship. Students can learn among students from other disciplines. So no matter what you come to Trinity to study, you're able to actually study among other peers and develop new ideas and maybe go into the various programs that we have here. Um, but for those who aren't necessarily on a program directly, another thing we've just kicked off is the Tangent TV. So this is a YouTube channel. We put all of the talks and anything we're able to record onto there. It's a space where people can watch things. But this concept of talks and having these experts come in is something that has been really valuable to me and to a number of the people who have participated in our various ecosystems. I know I'm coming back over to you, Callum. I know you have the test speaker series. You have a lot of speakers who would come in throughout the year. Can you tell me a bit more about that and if there were any guests that uh, you'd want to highlight? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So as you mentioned, we have the test speaker series. And this is where we bring in um, established entrepreneurs, kind of up and coming entrepreneurs, young Irish entrepreneurs. We have people from all kind of um, backgrounds, et cetera. Um, a couple of the kind of big name speakers who people would be familiar with would be um, Michael O'Leary of Ryanair, Mark Little of Kinzin, um, and Bobby Healy from Mana Delivery or Mana Drone, um, which is the drone delivery service that is, um, has just taken Ireland by storm. Amazing. Taking Ireland by storm. They're up in the sky. Um, very cool. I, another thing I wanted to bring us to is the, this, this conversation around networking. Because when we talk, like that is almost a dirty word now in the space of entrepreneurship. You think of entrepreneurship, you think of networking, it's like salesy in that way. But it definitely is not that. And someone who we had come on and talk on Tangent TV was uh, Kingsley Akins. He talked about networking as a non-transactional thing. You're just looking to add value and talk to people. Um, what has your guys' experience been in networking in and around Trinity? Laura, I know you had said that you'd like once you're in the door you've reached other places yeah. but how has it been for maybe the rest of you guys any anybody else about the idea of uh, coming in and networking and reaching people uh, in a non-transactional way has that been your experience here in Trinity um, yeah absolutely so as you said in the non-transactional way so we had Kingsley Aikens in to speak at TAS again as well um, he mentioned that you know you should look at networking as more relationship building over transaction driven. Um, so that's kind of hit me, hit hard home with me. And um, yeah, it's kind of you, you try and build relationships with people you meet. Um, you don't kind of look at them and say, hmm, what can he or she give me? What can I give back to them? It's kind of you go, you do a give first mentality. And um, another speaker who we had in before was Rory Golden. And one of the things that he said, which I thought was really powerful, was be kind to those you meet on the way up because when you're on the way down, you're probably going to meet the same people. <laughs> Absolutely. No, and, and in, that, in that regard, and in the interest of kind of uh, giving back, I'd, I'd be curious, you guys, how it has reciprocated for you involving yourselves in the entrepreneurial space, uh, being involved in an actus, being involved in tests, you're learning something outside of the classroom. Have any of you guys had experiences with that coming back into the classroom or in, in your studies, how that's helped you branch out in any way? Um, yeah, well, I study law, so that kind of business, social, social enterprise background isn't really something that I have. Um, so I've really enjoyed 
being a part of something that isn't necessarily directly linked to my academic studies and you know the skills and the the knowledge you can gain from that you know problem solving skills or business acumen or just general commercial awareness is really great um, and it's really really valuable to have and I've been able to develop that through my involvement with Enactus um, and even just meeting people who aren't in my course and meeting a wider range of people has been really great as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those kind of things are what you benefit and what you gain from being involved in a kind of social entrepreneurship society or even an entrepreneurship society. Yeah. So, yeah. I think as well, if you're in a, even if you're in a kind of business related or my, in my case, computer science and business course, it makes things a lot more relevant to you. And you can kind of look at things from a new angle. Like you can be very much more creative in your problem solving when you've seen it in the real world, how businesses might work. And you also get a lot of transferable skills, I think, um, for whatever you're doing, N not necessarily things you might learn in college. You get a very unique experience that only maybe running your own business or even being involved with some, from Tess or Enactus, if you're not even running your own business yet, you're just involved in it, listening to the speakers. I think you learn a lot that you wouldn't really necessarily from your course. Absolutely. It's, it's this concept of the entrepreneurial mindset, like the mm -hmm. idea that that mindset and that way of thinking can be valuable to you, kind of regardless of what you're studying. It's something that is going to suit you well as in your endeavors. Um, I, I, I had one kind of more question I wanted to give to you guys and the opportunity to kind of say to students who are potentially incoming to Trinity, what would be your advice to them in terms of how to get involved, be it specifically in entrepreneurial activities? Is it for them or, or even just wider? How would they get involved when they start here? Yeah, so I would say first year definitely for me was the year I had the most time to, uh, to do stuff. So kind of throw yourself in at the deep end, get involved in as much as possible. I got involved in SMF, which is Student Management Fund, kind of another business, but more finance society. Um, and Actus, obviously, uh, which I loved and I stuck around. That's why I'm here today. But um, just throw yourself in the deep end. You'll meet so many like, amazing people. I joined an Actus because I knew the chairman and um, didn't know what an Actus was you know anything and now I've made so many friends from it uh, like me Eve the whole Anactus community uh, meet up outside of Anactus for social events just like just for chat we're actual friends um, <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> um, but it's but it's yes yeah, certainly something I'd my my advice certainly would definitely be throw yourself in the deep end you'll get so much experiences and meet so many new people out of it I think don't be afraid to reach out to anyone who's involved in an area that you want to get involved in, like myself or Callum or Eva Matthew. We're all so happy to talk to people if they, if they reach out and they're not really sure or they, if you're thinking maybe my idea wouldn't be far along enough for that or I don't know anything about business, that wouldn't be right for me. Just try it and you're going to learn along, you're going to learn as you go. And I think just get involved early. I wish I'd got involved earlier, but it's also never too late. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I, think, I think this is one of the big reasons that potentially when you're in university, when you're here, it can be the best time to start something new, to mm -hmm. take an idea and turn it into a reality when you're in university it can be a really good time to do it. And when you're in Trinity, there's obviously a lot of opportunity for you. Um, but for today, um, we, we don't want to wait for you guys uh, to get here to find out what your ideas are. Um, so what we have done is actually launched a competition. So just this week, Tangent has created a TikTok account at TCD Tangent. We want you guys to post and share your ideas, just a short video, tell us what your idea is, tell us why it's amazing and why it's the next most innovative thing. Um, tag at TCD Tangent, as well as at Trinity College Dublin with the hashtag Tangent Challenge. On Monday, we will select our favorite idea, the most innovative idea, and it will be the first post on the Tangent TikTok channel will be a duet with that post. So we look forward to hearing your ideas before you get here, but we're excited to see you when you do walk in the door. Thank you so much, guys, for coming on and having this amazing discussion. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to seeing all of you out there very soon.